Tell me what inspires you. Well, I've always been a fan of um, vintage imagery, history. I, I'm really drawn to the, those types of things. And I collected tons of photographs and those kinds of things. Um, and uh, as well as vintage books and ephemera, you know, magazines, things. It's, it's just really interesting to discover what life was like hundred years ago and how people people's issues really remain the same they're still it's it's a new age but a lot of the issues are the same and so I like to combine the two and sort of um, recreate some of the imagery and um, add my own elements and ephemera and twist on it to create something that resonates with people well I think I I choose my pieces my individuals Sometimes it's about the beauty of them. Often it's about some unique quality that I, that I see. Um, maybe some of them seem to be like this. Let's take this one here. She looks wandering. This is called Wandering Pathways. And to me, she looks maybe a little bit lost. And, and that was the name of my first blog was Wandering Pathways because I like to, to dabble in a lot of different things. How did you arrive at this style, this medium. It must have been a journey. It was a journey. Uh, initially, I've, I did a lot of, um, I guess, crafty things and artsy things that incorporated fabric. I'm kind of a fiberholic, I guess you might say. And the first one that I did, actually, it's over there on the wall. It's uh, my daughter. And she um, was a teenager at the time, had a bit of an attitude. And, and so I decided I'd try to capture her you know, when I was looking at her picture on my computer, I thought, well, I can maybe capture this with fabric, and that's where it started from. And started with the attitude of a rebellious teenager. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. I really do feel that it's important to for me to get these things out. When I have an idea, when I have a problem, if I start to work on something and I and I stay with it, by the time I'm done, a lot of that is worked out of me and I feel like I can move on to something, you know, something different. When you sell a piece, is it like giving away part of yourself? It is. It's it's more difficult to sell pieces that, that are just completed. I had the experience earlier this year of having a woman come in here and. Um, I had one that I don't think I'd even signed yet, and she was like, oh, I have to have it, I have to have it, and so I signed it and sent it off with her, and <laughs> I, I, you know, it was like, oh, I really wanted to look at that for a while before, <laughs> before it went out, but... Sending you know, your creations out into the world. Exactly, exactly, but it makes room for more, you know, and that's the thing. If you don't give, you know, let go of some, then nothing new will come, so...